People gathered at Casemets this afternoon in support of the objectives set out by the new group Oye, Open Your Eyes. The objectives are collected in a 17-point mission statement, which lists a wide range of issues, from traffic to mental health and autism. Addressing the crowd, a spokesperson for the group said the government needed to be reminded that they were there to govern for the people. One of the main points are concerning the road closures, the blue zones that keep sprouting up, and uh, mainly the traffic, the lack of enforcement in, in traffic. There's a lot of double standards. Uh, and only that, uh, the, the pain of the, of the par car parks and the ridiculous prices, or was once free, is affecting a lot of people who on average will have to pay something between 200 and 300 pounds a month. The, f the problem with the traffic measures is that they should have implemented an efficient public transport system before they put, put any, even thought about putting this measure to work. You educate people but, and you also give them an alternative. The group also questioned the recent reappointment of the ex-medical director of the GHA and also highlighted the unexpected retirement of the police commissioner. I know Ian McGrail, I know him as a person, I knew him as a police officer and a colleague. This is not normal. A commissioner doesn't leave from a Monday to a Tuesday. Something big has had to happen. Whether it's that there is some uh, disagreement, whether there is a pending investigation. Groups say they are there to represent people from all walks of life and also said opposition parties had taken note of the issues they'd raised, something which the group welcomed. People are sick and tired of the stealthy way in which the government is conducting politics, uh, introducing charges left, right and centre, not directly but indirectly, but it has the same effect. What they're trying to do is recoup um, all that excessive money that the government has been spending uh, over the last four years, and I don't think it's fair. A substantial number of people have attended this afternoon's demonstration organised by the new group, Oye, who claim to be here to represent the views of the people and remind the government they're here to govern for the people. At today's demonstration, many items, many issues which have made the news over the last two or three years have a presence today. The group walked to number six, where they were met by the chief minister, who took some heat from those attending. Oye also intended to hand in a list of their grievances to the governor, but there was no one from the convent there to meet them.